Hiya, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to monitor the processes that are running in your PC. Now we all know that Task Manager is built into Windows operating system and you can actually look at all the processes running here, but it's very limited information. So I'm going to be showing you a useful program that you can have for free and run on your system and shows you much more information. You can get it from this web address here, www.whatsrunning.net. It's version 2.2, it's a new version. It works with Windows uh, XP, Windows Vista, Windows 2000, uh, also Windows 7, 64-bit operating systems and 32-bit operating systems, okay? It's also got a very handy uh, processes part at the bottom so you can actually identify what processes are and what they do and what not. So for argument's sake, if you was clicking on this one, it would actually open up and show you exactly what it is here. Let's have a little look at the program. We'll talk a bit more about that a little bit later on in the video. So let's have a look at the program here. I've got it downloaded. I'm just going to actually install it quickly. It's a pretty painless install, really. Just follow the the next button, really, and then launch that. Now, this has obviously been around for quite a while, but it's a very useful one to detect in spyware stuff and and things like that okay so as you can see here this is actually on our processes it's got 57 processes running and you can actually run through and have a good look at what's going on now as soon as you click on these as you can see it gives you a lot more useful information on the right hand panel here so basically you can see there's much more ready available uh, information for each process which stops you from panicking wondering whether it's uh, spyware or not. Now if you did have something that's a little bit uh, moody and you don't know what the what the name of it is, you can actually check it up in sites like this one, processlibrary.com. You can actually come here, www.processlibrary.com and actually type in the process inside here. Now let's just get a process name here for argument's sake. And we're going to call this alg.exe. Let's have a little look at that and find out what's going on with that one. So alg.exe, alg.exe, and we'll have a little look and find out what it says. Well, as you can see here, this is the actual uh, file which found all that. So we'll just click on that, and it gives us all the information that we need to know about this pro what this uh, process is. Okay. So you can actually uh, see it's saying alg.exe should not be disabled, required for essential applications to work properly okay so it's very simple to find out what's going on and you'll soon know whether it's a spyware or malware or something of that nature so anyway let's get back to the program itself as you can see here we can actually take a snapshot so if I clicked on take snapshot we can now have a look at the actual uh, tree here as you can see and we can actually save this snapshot if I wanted to so if I wanted to save this snapshot here I can call it test and just save that to my uh, desktop here like so and that saved that file to the desktop as you can see so what we need to do now is just carry on going through you've got the services tab here and as you can see we've got all the services running here so if I clicked on this it tells you exactly uh, start type boot start and so on and so on and so on and you can stop the service open the folder so if I wanted to open the folder up or something of that nature say for instance a process as well say I wanted to open a folder up for that alg.exe if I did open um, folder it would actually open the folder for the location where that file is located which is uh, useful as you can see so um, let's get back to the services bit there's 101 services running and you can actually come through here and have a little look at them and find out what you want to disable and what you don't want to disable okay so you can stop service as I said start service and so on and so on and so on okay let's have a look at modules and you've got 613 modules and as you can see you can click through here now this is going to be useful for you as well so let's have a little look so you can actually see down the bottom here start up as well and IP connection so it's not going to cover too much ground on this I mean it's pretty much you're going to have a play of it yourself I'm just actually going to show you a little quick look at it IP connections also great you remember I showed you that program the other day about uh, connections to port it was called my ports 
um, what else you can actually do that with this program so it's all these programs in one basically established as you can see now these established connections are the ones that you were interested in and you want to actually get the remote port and report uh, IP and so on and so on and so on okay so anyway uh, let's uh, move on to the next one um, drivers and as you can see here we've got the actual drivers that are running stopped current and so on and so on if you right click um, you can actually see open folder and it will actually open the folder for where that driver is okay which is very useful and uh, let's move on to the next one we've got start up and as you can see we've all got MS I know people are gonna say well we've got MS config yet yeah, well this is all in one little program so it's very useful for that reason um, but as you can see there got a lot of uh, stuff here you can take ticks out of and whatnot okay everyone knows a about uh, startup uh, MS config and so on you can actually take the ticks out and put the ticks in and it will stop that process from starting up when you reboot the PC so let's have a look at system information and there we have system information okay so that's basically be about it for this uh, video really um, as you can see you've got the useful tabs down the left hand side here which you can use for each bit so for argument's sake startup drivers IP connection if you just click on these it just opens these little tabs up and it gives you the uh, all the tools that you can use for this particular uh, area so for instance processes you actually can use all these tools in here and so on and so on and so on okay so if you want to come down to drivers these are the tools that you've got available for drivers okay my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk hope you've enjoyed these videos if you do please subscribe to my channel also any comments questions uh, please rate for all my videos as well uh, any questions as I said you can either send me a private message or leave a comment or uh, join my forums and actually put a question over there and I'll do my best to answer it for you any video requests anything like that give me a shout and I'll do my best to make them videos for you thanks again for watching guys thanks for your support bye for now